Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV and Marine in Liberty, Texas, just outside of Houston. And today I've got a very nice travel trailer for you guys. It's a Rockwood Ultralight by Forest River. I'm going to take you on a quick uh, video tour of the, the unit. It's got two slides up at the front here. It actually has a, uh, a power jack up here. Um, we have the cover for the, uh, for the propane, but you have to get your own bottles for it. I love the fact that the front cap has a uh, window built in it. Uh, which you'll appreciate when you're in the bedroom inside. Um, it's got, of course, the uh, pass-through storage uh, compartment in here. You have a nice uh, big power awning on this unit, uh, which is very nice. And then you have uh, exterior outdoor uh, speakers here. And it's got this really cool uh, barbecue here. It's a uh, propane. It's got, it's got its own uh, line for it. And the uh, all the... Uh, the decals are in very nice shape. You know, they're not all weather cracked or uh, sun faded like most of them are. They're they're very well. Uh, they look very well. Uh, 2010 model, and uh, that's your. Uh, it is a bunkhouse, and that's your bunkhouse uh, slide out there. And it comes way out. It's not one of those uh, ones that barely come out. I mean, it pops out quite a bit. I think that's about three three feet or so. Um, let's go and walk around to the back now. Um, you've got, of course, the uh, the manual uh, stabilizer jacks on the bottom here, and again, it's the uh, Rockwood Ultralight. I love the fact that you have a uh, roof access ladder. You don't really see that on many uh, uh, bumper pull travel trailers, so that is a nice uh, nice option there. On this side here, you've got your living room, or I think that's actually the living room. It's slide out, or it's uh, kitchen slide out. Um, you've got an exterior. Uh, shower here. It's actually got a uh, sewer tank flusher on it. It then it uh, has a 30 amp uh, connection there for your for your shore power. Uh, I love the fact that the uh, slide out has the uh, big windows on it that uh, open up to let a breeze in. And uh, here's the other end of your pass through storage. You got your hot water heater, city water connection here. Let's go to make our way to the inside, which you'll really love. Uh, that's my favorite part about the. Uh, the unit is the inside. The floor plan is fantastic. Um, so, of course, on your way to the inside, you've got the uh, pull down steps, nice entry handle, and uh, and here we are on the inside. You've got a nice uh, sofa there. It's a jackknife sofa. It's got overhead storage, and then here in the kitchen, you've got your uh, your sink. I believe it's a double sink. Yeah, double sink here, and then uh, you've got your Magic Chef. Uh, a microwave and uh, it's got overhead storage here in the kitchen as well. You've got a three burner range here. Also an oven below it. Nice cabinets throughout the whole unit. Um, I love the uh, the dinette. It's a U-shaped one and it's big. Um, another thing you have in the, uh, the uh, over above the dinette is of course more storage. Lots and lots of storage on this unit. And right here is uh, where the entertainment center is. It is ready for a flat screen TV. You've got a stereo here. And then I believe this is where you put your receivers and all that stuff right there. So it's all nicely, uh, got a nice fit and finish to it. And uh, just some more uh, more storage and stuff for your entertainment center there. Here is where your uh, master suite is. or It's your, it's got a queen bed. Lots of nice storage around the bed. And uh, I love the fact that they put uh, power outlets on each side of the bed. So uh, if you're like me, I like to have my phone next to me when I sleep. And I like to plug it in and charge it. Um, so that's always nice to have that there. Uh, you got nice uh, windows on both sides of the uh, the bed here. Uh, that screen here has, has been damaged. Just notice that. Uh, let's go ahead and check the other side while we're at it. You've got okay. This one looks pretty good. These day and night shades. This day and night shade doesn't want to uh, stay up, which is normal. A lot of times, day and night shades always need to be restrung. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and continue the uh, the video tour. You've got a nice Dometic double door uh, fridge, freezer, very clean. Um, that day and night shade I think might need to root. Yeah, it looks like it needs to be resung too. I just want you guys to know about it. Uh, now, on our way to the bunkhouse here, you get your bottom bunk, top bunk, and uh, of course you have this uh, the uh, privacy sh uh, sh uh, shade or screen or whatever you want to call it. Then in the bunk house area, you've got a nice uh, cabinet space, countertop. This day and night shade works, but this screen needs to be changed. 
Uh, also, that's your emergency exit too. I love how open this floor plan is. When you're inside it, you really understand what I'm saying. It's very, very open. And it's got a huge amount of storage space. As you can see, what I'm showing you, you've got your closet here. And then check this out. The bathroom is absolutely huge on this thing. You've got your, uh, your vanity area, your bathroom, and your shower with a mini tub. Very clean. It's got a nice little window. Um, another thing that it has is it's got a... Uh, tank heater on it. It's got your water heater switch there. You got your slide out switch for the bunkhouse. The other one's up front. And then also you can start your water pump, check your holding tank levels from here as well. If you have questions on this unit, feel free to call me. My name is John. The number is 936-253-8130. Uh, this is a very nice unit. Uh, we have tested the appliances. They work great. Uh, again, just give me a call with your questions and I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. My name is John, 936 253-8130 and thanks for watching.